Hello everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take notes with smaller notebooks. For this video, obviously you need a small notebook. I'd like to mention that this video is actually a requested video and I will send the link to them. Also, I'd like to say that you don't need all of these supplies to make great notes. Just a pen, a pencil maybe, and a highlighter will do the job. So next up, the pen that I used to write is the Zebra Z Grip Ballpoint and it's the black version. I've been using this pen for a long time and I like the grip and it's fairly smooth plus it doesn't bleed through because it is a ballpoint pen. Next up is the pen that I use for my subheadings and this is the V-Ball Gel Pen which is 0.7mm. This ink is also black ink and since it is a gel pen it might bleed through sometimes but the ink comes out really smoothly and that's why I use it sometimes. Next up to correct my mistakes I have the Tipex mini correction tape and I use this because it's really small so you can like carry it in your pencil case and it like dries out like instantly because it's correction tape not like liquid. For my highlighters I use zebra myliners and I've been using these for a long time. I really like the colour variety and they don't bleed through as much as normal highlighters so I like it. There's two like tips to this, there's the fine tip which you can like write stuff with and there's also the second tip which is to, for like highlighting and it's the chisel tip. Next up I use brush pens for my notes for the titles and the first brush pen is the Pentel Touch brush pen. I really like this brush pen because the ink comes out really smoothly like the pens and it's easy to write with. The second one that I'll be using for this video is a Pentel brush pen with a smaller nib. This is good for smaller notebooks because the nib is smaller so you can easily write titles that will suit the size of the notebook. Here are some title designs for you guys to try out and I've been using some of these but basically I believe the title is really important because it like sets out how your notes are going to be and I don't know about you but if I find my notes appealing to look at it's easier to retain information so if the title looks really nice then I can retain more information from those sets of notes. But yeah, here's some title designs and you can do them based on whether you want your notes to be more minimalistic, which you can use your normal handwriting for. If you want it to be more modern, you can use capital letters. And if you want it to just be fun, then you can use um, cursive letters and just draw boxes or something around it. Just like give it a go and you can do the different titles for different notes if you want to. But I prefer to just do the title in brush pen and then highlight the sides of the title.
Now I will show you all how I structure my notes. So I start with the title at the top obviously, so when I'm flipping through, I know what the page is about. Then I have a subheading so everything's structured properly, so if there's like two parts to a topic, then um, I can easily find where everything is. Then I write the actual information in bullet points and I alternate between a dotted bullet point, a dash for a bullet point and sometimes even a star if it's like really important for me to memorize it. If what I'm writing down is really important then I might write it in a box if that makes sense. So I'll write it and then I'll box it out by just drawing a square around it. Boxes are going to be really useful when you're writing in A5 notebooks because it saves more space and you can easily write more. It also like divides or like separates the really important bits in the boxes to your actual notes. This is my main tip and basically if you're writing in A5 notebooks you need to summarize and condense your notes a lot if you want it to fit on one page and by doing this you just need to write it in your own words rather than copying it word for word. When you come back to revise and read through your notes it's helpful if you highlight key terms or you can write them in a different colour if you prefer loads of colours on your page. Personally, I prefer to highlight because it's easier to look at like what's important and stuff rather than writing in a different colour which doesn't really look appealing to me and for me, if my notes look kind of appealing then I will revise better. Obviously this depends from person to person so you can write your key terms in a different colour if you would like. Here is the book that I'm going to be making an example from and as you can see it was an A4 piece of paper so I'm going to try and condense that page of information onto a page of A5 and it may seem a bit challenging at first but when you go through and like start writing it's not as bad. This is just to show you guys that writing notes in smaller notebooks can be done and it's not like impossible, you don't have to get A4 notebooks all the time. Here is the final product of my notes and I honestly think it looks really nice. <laughs>